So viruses can be tough to get rid of due to their viral envelopes. And that means that the only effective way to get rid of these infections is to use antivirals. Okay, so that wraps up the unit work we'll do together about bacteria and viruses. Uh, your unit test is on Friday, and so in the next couple of minutes, you should take some time to review with your colleagues the really important concepts. Okay, so the envelope is derived from membranes of host cells and it cloaks the capsid. Yeah. What's a capsule? Um. Can anyone use this phone? Excuse me. Can I help you? Okay. Well, the capsid's the protein coat that's surrounding the virus. It's containing the DNA and RNA. Attention students and faculty, I, Dr. Viro, am happy to inform you that I have infected your school with a highly contagious virus capable of killing within minutes. I know Biomed is in the building. If he is not brought to me within 20 minutes, or if any of you try to escape from the premises, I will release the virus through the air ducts, making it impossible for any of you to escape alive. If he is brought to me before then, I will reward you with the answer. I bet I've got a problem. Yeah, Bioman, I'm here. It's Dr. Viro. He's back. This time he's released a virus into the school. I need help isolating in order to come up with an antiviral. Can you tell me about viruses? They're extremely small, only about 20 nanometers in diameter. So you probably won't be able to examine it under a microscope. <sighs> Not a regular microscope. Something stronger. If I send it to you, can you examine it under an electron microscope? Yeah. Good. I bet the data is being sent right now. Hi, Pet. Did you get the information? Yeah. All right. So, does it have an envelope? Yes. What kind of caps it? I know you can have rod shaped polyhedral or a more complex shape. It's fairly simplistic. It looks almost like a tobacco mosaic virus, but instead of being rod-shaped, it's more of a shepherd's crook.
and the genetic information? I know viruses can have single or double-stranded DNA. They can also have single or double-stranded RNA, depending on the virus. This one has single-stranded RNA. If I didn't know any better, it looks kind of like a mutated strain of Ebola. We need to hurry with the antiviral. Viruses can infect cells extremely quickly. All it takes is for one virus to enter the cell and uncoat. The RNA is then- Release into the host cell. I know. I'm hurrying. The inserted RNA directs the process of transcription by enzymes, which creates more viral RNA in the cell. The new viruses are then released to infect other cells. I think I got it. I'm heading back to the school. Time's up. It appears Spider-Man is unwilling to make an appearance, but unfortunately you all must pay for his cowardice. In about three minutes, I will release the virus into the air ducts. At most, you all have ten minutes to live. I suggest you save a little time you have left. It's over, Dr. Pyro. But you're too late, Bioman. The virus is already spreading through the school like wildfire. <coughs> now you're infected too. <sighs> What is that? Answer me. It's an antiviral. My virus was too complex. Not complex enough. If my virus didn't kill you, I guess I'll have to do it myself. No. No. Ah, no. No. It's over.
I got the antiviral to the CDC. Did everyone in the school survive? No. There were a few casualties. Didn't get the antiviral to them fast enough. So, Pipette, what brings you to the bio layer? Another bioterrorist. Some specializing in bacterial infections. He's already made a threat against the mayor. What does he want? Same thing Dr. Viral wanted. You need to take off your mask. Maybe I should. Revealing yourself will only give the terrorists what they want. Be able to target your family, friends, anyone close to you. Power as a hero would basically be reduced to nothing. What am I supposed to do? Keep fighting. And that's what I'm gonna do.